future without fear. And our text that we're dealing with is the entire book of Revelations. Before I deal with it, uh, I noticed on the news, I think there was like a terrorist scare. Because yeah. there was like someone who uh, invaded a plane and, you know, they got him down. And people's lives were saved. Praise the Lord. I think that's interesting because that's a blessing right there. So I was talking to my dad, like somebody on a plane who had to pray. Amen. Someone must have prayed that's right. the day. Amen. But we as Christians don't need to be scared of flying on an airplane. That's right. Amen. Riding a train. Amen. Driving a car. If you read Revelations, people are scared about Revelations. If you, if you read Revelations, you find out that Jesus Christ will protect you in your living Amen. and in your Amen. Praise the Lord. Right? Amen. Amen. That's right. Praise we the Lord. We as Christians need to know how to protect ourselves. Amen. How can I, as a Christian, protect myself? I know the scriptures say that we are like lambs. Remember, we're like sheep. Amen. But we have That's a shepherd. Right. That's right. Who will protect us. Before you go out every day, just bind and loose the enemy's power. That's right. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I loose the windows of heaven blessings. Amen. And angels to guard and protect me. That's right. Everywhere I go. Satan, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Amen. From wherever else you're going. But you as a Christian have to believe That's that you right. have this authority. Amen. Uh, if you don't believe, it will not work. It won't work. That's right. If you right. just say it, it won't work. Amen. You have to believe. Someone say, I have to. I, I have to. to believe. 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 So we're doing with the book of Revelation. It's the Reve Revelation of John. And we left off because we're almost in the end of it. So you guys are just coming down in the middle. But it's good. Amen. The book of Revelation, chapter 16. But before I go on, I'll start in chapter 15. People are all scared about Revelation. You can't understand Revelation. It's too deep. It's too, it's too, I don't know. Yes, you can. Amen. The key, I like how the, 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 uh, the people who've comprised the Bible, they didn't put Revelations first. They didn't put it in the middle. They put it at the end. Amen. They're telling you something. Study every other book mm -hmm. of the Bible. When you studied all these books, with the help of the Holy Spirit, because He is real. He's our teacher. Amen. He will reveal to you. Yes, He will. Revelation. Help us teach Jesus in Jesus' name. The book of Revelation, chapter 15, verse 5. We're dealing with the seven bowls of the seven plagues. And we're going to chapter 16. Verse 5 of chapter 15, I'm reading out, reading out the New International Version Bible. So if you're following along the King James Version, whatever the words I say will be slightly different. We'll all come together. You have it, chapter 15, verse 5. Then I looked, this is John speaking. Then I looked and saw that the temple in heaven, God's tabernacle, was thrown wide open. The seven angels, someone say the seven angels. The seven angels who were holding the bowls of the seven plagues, came from the temple, clothed in spotless white linen. Remember I told you in Revelation, the deal of numbers. What does seven represent? Completion. So this is going to be complete. And they were in spotless white linen. If you read in the book of Leviticus, the priests, they had linen. Amen. What does linen represent? Purity. These people, these beings, know how to judge. Amen. Keep reading. With gold belts across their chests. And one of the four living beings handed each of the seven angels a gold bowl. Filled with the terrible wrath of God. Who lives forever and ever. People are always wonder, man, why, where's God in all this? Where's God when that kid got abducted? Where's God when this one person cheated under tax? Where's God when that guy cheated on his wife? God is there. Amen. The thing remember I told you about, about God. Book of Proverbs teaches us. He waits till things come to fulfillment. To completion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then he judges. And Revelation says, he judges, then he goes to war. Oh, Amen. He's, good. he's awesome. I love him. That's why you as a Christian, you as a sinner, need to know that there will come a day of reckoning, as the old saints called it. Amen. A day of reckoning. Get your mind right today. I like what Hebrew says. Why is it still called today? Today. Get your life together today. Don't wait. Get it done today. The book of Revelation is written in AD 98, I believe. He's given you over 1,000 years of warning. Amen. That's why you can never say. Someone say, I can never say. I can never say. I never knew. I never knew. Because you will. I like what Paul says. See, this is the good thing about Revelation, how the Holy Spirit leads you. People always wonder, tell me what about those people who, who were here before Jesus came? Did they go to heaven? How is he going to judge them? Is he, he's a righteous God. Isn't that right? He's a righteous God. You have to accept Jesus as your Lord. Say, right? That's right, isn't it? Paul says, 
Those who know the law well, will be judged by the law. Well, okay. Those who have who do not have the law will be judged without the law. Amen. Oh, that's good. Okay. Amen. That's one king in this old nation. I get back to Revelation. This is good. This is awesome. One king, years before the Ten Commandments were written, he established a code for uh -huh. his kingdom. Uh -huh. And if you read that code, it's just like the Ten Commandments. Amen. Everybody knows it's right in their heart. Amen. You choose to obey or choose not to obey. That's right. The book of Revelation later on says, those who are going to be evil need to remain evil. Keep on doing evil. Those who are righteous need to continue on in their righteousness. Amen. If you're going to do good, do good. That's right. If you're going to do bad, do bad. That's right. Get together today. Don't waver. Keep reading. Verse 8. The temple was filled with smoke from God's glory and power. No one can enter the temple until the seven angels, someone say the seven angels. The seven angels. Had completed pouring out the seven plagues. These are the last plagues. Chapter 16. This is where we left off. Then I heard a mighty voice shouting from the temple to the seven angels. Now go your way and empty out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bow over the earth. And horrible malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast who worshipped his statue. Pause. Remember the beast. Remember we talked about we're going to do a review session. Who's the beast? Remember I told you this one person told me, talked to me about two weeks ago while I was Amen. in the hotel Amen. having breakfast. And they talked to me about this current political leader. Tim, that's the beast. Yeah, that's the beast. I'm like, no. That's not the beast. Amen. That's not the beast. Amen. If you know the Bible, that's right. No one. Someone say no one. No one will fool you. That's right. Even if they say they're a Christian. I like what John says in the book of John. I think it's the fourth chapter, the God, the Epistle of John. Where there is perfect love, there is no fear in perfect love. Amen.